934 right now. Welcome back to CW Iowa Live. We have a couple of very special guests joining us in studio with us right now. Ruth Comer and also uh, Emily Osweiler from the YMCA uh, here. And YMCA is really exploding. Yep. More and more rocking. people are talking about the YMCA and that's got to make you feel good. Yeah, that's great. Uh, our whole mission at the Y is strengthening the foundation of community. And so when the community is active and engaged, uh, we can do better work that way. So we love it. Added leadership, uh, growth all over the place. It's just been rocking. Yeah, it's been a year of some transitions for us, but we feel really good about the place where we are and what we're able to do for our members in the communities. That is great. Now we're here to talk about the YMCA Supportive Housing Campus. Tell us all about that. Uh, Supportive Housing Campus is a permanent residential facility that the Y operates. It's on Southwest 9th, if you know where West End Salvage is yes. on Southwest 9th. Yeah. We're their next door neighbors down there. Okay. And it provides a community of caring for uh, men and women who were formerly homeless or were in unstable living situations. Now they have uh, a place to live and people to help them uh, with achieving their life goals. Now is this the the relocated area from where it used to be near the river or is this something totally different? Um, yeah, this is the old riverfront Y. Right. It had some temporary transitional they had temporary houses. Ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. And so um, we've now we're in a new Y facility and, and this is a new facility actually been around since 2011 mm. uh, to provide permanent housing okay. for people in our community. So that's the so, difference. Okay. Yeah, but the Y, as you pointed out, the Y has a long history history of being in housing and so um, we've figured out a community need to address homelessness and we're trying to do something about it. Now that would be the reason the Y is supporting That's a project right. such as this. So tell us a little bit about this campus. Yeah, um, well as Ruth said we're permanent supportive housing mm -hmm. so you know we are an actual apartment. We have 140 efficiency apartments for our residents um, for adult men and women and then we have wraparound supportive services which you know, that's why the Y is involved. That's why I'm involved as a social worker. Um, our residents are, you know, they have a continuum of needs, so to speak. We have some residents who are choosing to move in because they just can't quite make ends meet financially. <clears throat> they have a burden, right. a, you know, a financial burden in their life. They need kind of a hand up, pretty self-sufficient. Um, yeah, all not the a hand out, a hand up. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. Um, all the way on the other end of the continuum, we have people who have severe mental health issues or they've been um, chronically experiencing homelessness for many years. And then everywhere in between, we have um, people fleeing domestic violence situations. Mm -hmm. um, probably 35% of our residents are military veterans. Um, so just quite a continuum of needs. Is this what they mean by supportive services? Exactly. Um, so we have the permanent housing, which is awesome because we are a home for people with no time limit. Um, if I were to put our supportive services, I guess kind of into three buckets, so to speak, one would be case management. Everyone who lives with us um, has access to case management right. and they're just working with people where they're at. You know, everybody's um, case plan might look different depending on what their goals are and they're creating action steps and they've, you know, case managers are advocates and resource givers and, right. you know, just counseling and supporting. Um, another area would be just everything we have on site. We've got groups and classes, wonderful partners come in and help us with those. Um, we have bus tokens and a food pantry and a clothing closet, just all kinds of great stuff. You seem very excited about this and proud of it. Yes, yes, I'm very passionate about what we do. No, no, so what is the <laughs> ultimate goal of the supportive housing campus then? Well, the overarching ultimate goal for everyone is to maintain permanent housing. We just, you know, we don't want people to fall backwards. And mm -hmm. so whether they stay with us because they need that level of support and community, um, that's great. If they can move on to a more independent setting, that's also great because we have a wait list of people that could move in. Sure. Um, but then, you know, as far as other goals, I think if you think about kind of a hierarchy of needs, we're able to help people moving in with those basic needs, mm. food, clothing, shelter, you know, people people have those when they move in. Kind of that next level is safety, security, stability. We're really able to help focus on those. I mean, if you think about never feeling safe, mm -hmm. you know, or not having appropriate clothes for the, an Iowa winter, you know, mm. um, we're able to help meet those needs. But our niche is really that next level of community and belonging. And so you know, our residents, they're neighbors in a home and they have their morning coffee together and mm -hmm. they watch the Super Bowl together and they take each other to the doctor and help each other bring in their groceries. And 
So it's just this tight knit community, a family that's formed and they belong, you know, your yep. home. A family, I like that. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Next yeah. Tuesday's a big day too, isn't it? It is. Um, Tuesday after Thanksgiving has become Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday, right. Um, so you have Black Friday, you have Cyber Monday. Tuesday is Giving Tuesday, so it's a chance to take time out of our holiday preparations and think about other people uh, and how, what we can do to lift up our community. So on Giving Tuesday, the Y is directing 100% of any donations made that day to supportive housing. Um, as Emily said, we have 140 residents. We have that many or more on a waiting list wow. to come in. So that and much of a demand then? Yeah, it, okay. and um, homelessness wow. in our community um, is a problem. There's an estimated 1,200 homeless people in Des Moines. It's hard to have an exact count to find folks, but we know there's a need, and so on Giving Tuesday, if you um, have a few dollars to spare and want to support a great cause in and the community. And there are items, too, they can give. Yeah, Emily, that's right. what, what kind of items do we yeah. need? Because not only can you make a monetary donation, if you have something you can donate, you guys are taking those right, as well. Right, right. Well, we have a pantry, so any types of household items or hygiene products, um, you know, shampoo and toothpaste and toilet paper, garbage bags, things like that that you don't always think of, you know, that people often take for granted right. are very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, we also give everyone, a, we call it a welcome home basket when they move in. And so it's a laundry basket filled with an all-purpose cleaner and silverware and a can opener and just some basic things that so you need So all the right things away. that you take for granted at home are things that are really necessary. Oh, Where yeah. can that be dropped off though? At any YMCA branch in Greater Des Moines or at supportive housing anytime. Okay, so all that to keep in mind. Again, yeah. uh, you guys do incredible work. You really do. Thanks. A wonderful work, and Thanks. hopefully we'll get some uh, attention focused on everything going on this weekend, too. Right, everyone deserves a home for the holidays. And that's exactly what you're providing. Yeah. And we thank you for that. Thank you so much. Now, people want to get more information about the why. What's the easiest place to find information? DMYMCA.org. Mm -hmm. And if you want to give online um, for supportive housing, like we said, um, Giving Tuesday, all the contributions go there, slash give at the end and it'll go right to a place where you can give online. That is wonderful. Well, thank you so thank much for you. coming. Happy Thanksgiving yeah, to, to you. Thank you, thank you guys. Yes. We will be right back.